I can't believe I got in this place. Hey everybody, it's Sleeve for the Supermarket Checkout video. We are at Saker's ShopRite of Jackson, New Jersey. This tour was one of seven Perlmart ShopRites that Richard Saker purchased from Michael Perlmutter in 2021. As we will see when we enter the store, uh, it has the uh, mid-early 2000s wacky cartoon character decor that many ShopRites in the early 2000s had. Uh, West Berlin had this decor, however, not to the extent or to the level of creativity as this shop, right, as we will see. This will truly be a uh, treat for the eyes, and you might actually chuckle a bit like I did. I should also mention that this store probably is the reason why the Jackson Township Stop and Shop is on the chopping block. I also visited that store the same day I visited this one. And you'll want to stay tuned to see that video coming up in the near future. As we walk through the front entrance, we are greeted by a large clock on the wall made up of the different cartoon elements that uh, you're going to see throughout the store. But the real treat is once we uh, enter the produce section. I'm behind some slow moving traffic. I, I didn't mean you ma'am. As we enter the produce section and also gaze at the uh, service departments here, we can't help but notice the cartoon characters are everywhere. I believe the Perlmutter family did an excellent job with this decor, much better than uh, the late George Zelly Sr. did with the West Berlin store in this decor. <laughs> From the floor tile to how the drop ceiling is cut away and the unique uh, line, squiggly line, I guess you could say, uh, between the grocery aisles and produce and the service departments. I have to say that the Perlmutter family did an amazing job with this store and I'm glad that the Sakers have not remodeled this. I am going to show you a Saker store that was uh, built by the Saker family from the ground up and they have an interesting decor language that um, I think only they have. I haven't seen it in any other stores so I'd like to show that to you in a subsequent video. In the meantime, uh, let's just let's just bask in the glow of this amazing store. Just everything from the uh, uh, aisle markers and different pictures to uh, over by the meat section you have uh, what looks like cartoon characters uh, carrying large um, packages of uh, different meat and chicken look even looks like it's in saran wrap like uh, the actual uh, packs would be in the uh, um, meat cases there I also like how well lit the store was. Some supermarkets you walk into and you can't help but notice how dimly lit they are. I don't know if that's supposed to create some kind of ambiance, but I'm glad that this store went with a more uh, um, well lit appearance. And I like that uh, part of the ceiling's been uh, cut open, if you will. Looks like uh, 
the uh, farmer there is walking up the ladder to uh, the second floor. <laughs> also like how uh, they have the cows here in dairy. It looks like they're uh, they got their backs to you. Again, I was I was cracking up laughing when I saw this. They got their backs to you while they're filling the milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was cracking up when I saw these. I had to take another look. Looks like they got their back to you and they're using their others to squirt in there, you know. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't be too graphic with my uh, <laughs> description, but oh my goodness. And I couldn't help notice how the, uh, the egg section there kind of reminded me of what used to be at the uh, West Berlin shop, right? but I think they did a better job here. And uh, I also like over here you have uh, rove chickens under pressure to produce eggs by the uh, stern looking cow over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I couldn't help. I, I, was, I was laughing the entire time I was here. I think I almost blew my cover. <laughs> um, I mean, again, uh, Charleston Pinball Arcade, if they don't notice the handy cam, that's been duct taped to my head. I think I'm all right, but <laughs> I was I was having too much fun. I mean, yeah, they probably did notice uh, some guy, some weird guy laughing his head off. And then over towards the front end of the store, oh my goodness, they had some kind of, uh, I don't know, like a ball track or some sort. Like it looks like something that they'd send a ball around or something. Like you would see at like, uh, I don't know, um, an arcade or something. like a, Maybe like a giant pinball. Not a Charleston Pinball Arcade. I thought I'd include you in on that one. But it's right above the uh, registers. And uh, <laughs> kind of like uh, some stores would probably have like a train set right above your head. I'm going to go to one that has one. Charleston Pimple Arcade knows which one I'm going to. Which store banner, I should say. But, you know, it wasn't just the uh, ab above your head or the, you know, the ceiling area or the walls. But even the floor tile was wacky. I mean, I really got a kick out of this place. At this point, yes, I got to buy something because I don't want to arouse suspicion. And I'm kind of hungry. So I was thinking about the prepared foods and actually... I eventually decided to go get me a hoagie. But, uh, oh my goodness, just all the different, you know, wacky elements here. This was amazing. This was exactly what the wacky cartoon character decor, and that's the name I've given it, of course. I don't know what the official name is, but that's what this decor should be. I mean, it's just amazing and I'm going to show you another um, former Pearl Mart um, store that also has this similar decor. It's a little bit different. They made it a little bit unique you know, between the stores which I think was another nice touch and you're going to get a kick out of that too. I actually found that store by accident on my way home from shooting a few other stores so stay tuned for a future supermarket checkout video where I check that place out for you. Of course, I got to go check out the antipasto, you know, the the olive bar. I know that Charleston Pimp Bar, Kate and I kind of disagree, you know, but I do like to grab some olives and put them in my sandwich. There used to be a deli near me on the way to, uh, oddly enough, on the way to uh, um, Zaley's in West Berlin. There was a place on Franklin Avenue 561 called Nardi's Deli. And they had this one um, Italian poor boy hoagie that they put olives and feta cheese and um, mushrooms in there. And that thing was just awesome. Sad to say that deli is nowhere um, to be found. They've closed down now. Um, a new eatery has taken its place. And they don't have the... Uh, same menu at all. I haven't really been in that one since, actually. I miss that place. But you had to get my olives, had to get my uh, pepper shooters, and uh, had to, you know, get something to go with my hoagie, which I got here. And the hoagie was pretty good. 
I didn't do a hoagie review because, well, I was too hungry to even think about that. So I'm sorry in advance, but again, I do give you a lot of interesting uh, videos, so I'm sure you can excuse me every now and then. Of course, I know that in the comments, Charles Bill Arcade is going to say, of course you're not excused, Sleeve. <laughs> I know you're going to say that, so I already beat you to the punch here. <laughs> But all in all, this was an amazing store. Um, I don't think that any newer modern shop right could compare to how wacky and wild this place was. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Acme Grocery Palace or Albertson's Grocery Palace decor that we saw at the now closed Milltown Acme, but even more so. Honestly, if I was ever in this area again, you can bet that I would definitely shop here again. Um, I had a great time here, and um, honestly, I would definitely want to check this place out again. Just, just for laughs and giggles, seriously. This place was phenomenal. I am raving about this store now. And honestly, if you know of a store, a supermarket in your area, um, suggest it to me. I mean, the worst I can say is I'm too far away to get there, but I, I, I would try. And folks, that all do it for us here at the Jackson Township Saker Shop, right? As always, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend, check out my coloring books, link in the description. Have a great day out there, folks, and I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now. ShopRite has the low, low prices you can save throughout the store. You'll find low, low prices this week on center cut pork chops or roast $1.79 a pound. A 20-pound bag of all-purpose potatoes is $1.69 and budget gourmet entrees $1.49. ShopRite does it right. We saved you money.